Hey guys, so I started out with the Benefit Professional, but the Pearl Radiance Primer. Um, it's the new primer from Benefit, so I just popped that all over my face. I actually really like it. It's luminizing, but it also minimizes the pores, so it's kind of like the best of both worlds. Then I used my NARS Sheer Glow Foundation in the shade Salan, I think it's pronounced, and I just used a damp Rimmel Beauty Sponge just to press this all over my skin. Then to cream contour, I'm using this Nude Sticks Nudies Stick, so you can either use this all over the face as a foundation if you've got more, you know, tanned skin, or you can use it the way I'm using it and use it as a cream contour oh my gosh I can't speak ever okay so I'm just blending it all out using the same sponge and it just gives me a little bit of color and structure then I'm moving on to the eyes so I'm taking my Tarte Shape Tape in Fair Neutral and I'm just applying some of that to the lids and blending it out using the same sponge And then I'm going into the Warm Neutrals Volume 2 palette from Sigma and I'm taking the very first shade and I'm just setting down the lids with that and then applying some tape to the outer corners. Then I'm picking the shade Toasty which is this light warm toned brown and I'm just using an E40 brush just to buff this into the crease as a transition shade. I just wanted it to be, you know, a little bit of a mixture of a neutral in with all the pink so it wasn't too overwhelming. Then I'm going into the Sigma Creme de Couture palette and I'm taking the hot pink fuchsia shade and I'm just starting to apply this into the crease using my E40. Um, as you can see, it's quite a light wash of colour at the start but we do build it up. Then back into the Warm Neutrals palette, I'm taking the shade Rogue which is this gorgeous like burgundy ready pinky shade and I'm using an E25 to build this up in the outer corner and then really pack it through the crease. And then back in with the E40 I'm just making sure the edges are nice and blended. Then I'm taking this Sigma liquid lipstick, it's in the shade Peach Teeny and I'm using this as a base for my eyeshadows so I'm picking some of that up on a F70 concealer brush and I'm just applying it all over the lid and letting it set so that it's a nice hot pink base and then I'm taking more of that fuchsia pink shade which is called Red Berry Rose I believe and I'm just pretty much setting all of it down and packing that shade on. Then I just went back in with the E25 brush again just to blend out those edges and make sure they were nice and seamless. And then I just added a little bit more of that Rogue shade because I felt like most of it got blended away so I built it up a bit more in the outer corner and again through the crease. Then I took the Sigma Line Ace in the white shade. Um, I can't remember what it's called but I'll have the name of it listed below. It's a super opaque white but it does crackle a little bit, that's my only fault with it. Um, but yeah. Then I took a Models Prefer black cold pencil and tight lined and I just covered up where I got a little bit of the white liner in my lashes. Even though it doesn't matter if you're applying falsies but I did it anyway. Um, the mascara I used was the Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir Mascara and the falsies I used are the Huda Beauty Samantha number no. 7 lashes. Then moving back onto the face, I'm concealing my face using my Shape Tape Concealer in Fair Neutral. So I'm applying some down the center of my face and underneath my eyes. And I'm just using the same damp sponge just to blend all of this out. Then I just took the Benefit Industrial Strength Concealer and concealed a little blemish that I had on my cheek as well. And then I'm going in with my Face of Australia Loose Translucent Powder and I'm kind of baking but I'm not really applying a heap so it doesn't really count. So I just applied some and then I went in with my F20 brush and applied a little bit more and buffed away all the excess. Then to bronze slash contour my face I took the Pure Cosmetics Glow Together Bronzer and I used my F05 brush with the matte strips of the bronzer and just started to apply that to all of the perimeter, so my cheekbones, my hairline and my temples and underneath my jawline. Oh, my phone just went off, I'm sorry. And I applied a little bit of the shimmery shade just over the top of my cheeks a little bit. 
And for blush, I wanted to use something in the pink family as well, so I went with NARS Gilda and just applied it to my cheeks. And I took my um, sponge just to make sure that the edges were blended because it was a little bit harsh. And then finally for highlight, I used the MAC Extra Dimension Skin Finish in Double Gleam, which is one of my favorite highlighters ever. It's so glowy and beautiful. And I just used a Sigma F35 brush to apply that to all of the high points of my face. Then moving on to the under eyes, I am taking that shade Rogue from the Warm Neutrals Volume 2 palette and I'm using an E44 brush just to buff this right underneath the lower lash line. And then I took that shade from the Creme de Couture color, I mean Creme de Couture palette and I did the same kind of thing but I kept this more in towards the inner corner. And then to highlight the inner corners, I just used the same highlight I used on my face. Then I just applied some black liner in my waterline to kind of break up the pink so it didn't look like I had pink eye. And then I popped some mascara on my lower lashes and that finished the eye look up. And then finally for lips, I wanted to go with pink as well because this is a Valentine's look after all. So I used the ColourPop Lippy Stick and Lippy Pencil in the shade Westy. So just outlined my entire lips with it and then used the Lippy Stick um, to fill them in, which I love this pink colour. It is so, so nice and creamy and beautiful, and I love it. And that is it. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you in my next one.